Hi everyone, this video will show you how to take a serverless approach to handling file uploads, all without using a server. For applications that allow end users to upload pictures and other media, one of the common problems is the amount of work involved in uploading and processing these files. Typically, the binary data is uploaded to a server, which may save the file in some local temp storage before saving it permanently somewhere else. Because of the sheer size and quantity of these files, it takes a fair amount of compute, so it's common to have fleets of servers handling file uploading processes for popular applications. The serverless approach allows your application to use a pre-signed URL and upload directly to Amazon S3. This offloads all of the bandwidth and compute requirements away from your application and instead relies on the massive scalability of S3. You can use this method in any type of web application, even ones that are not serverless, like WordPress, for example, or other LAMP stack applications. If you're using servers, doing this will free up your server to handle other requests. Let's take a look at the console and see how it works. So first, I'm going to create a bucket. I'll call it jbezwer uploads. I'm using Northern California as my region in this case. I'm going to allow public access. You don't have to do that, but just for this example, I'm going to make this a public bucket. OK, so now we see our bucket. And right now, there's nothing in there. So first things first, I need to set a cause configuration on the bucket. I have a pre-canned configuration I'm going to use just for this example. It's got a start origin. You wouldn't normally do this in a production application, but for a demo, it's OK. I'll just save this cause configuration here. And now let's go to Lambda. I'll create a new function, and I'll call this get pre-signed URL. I'm using Node.js 12. I'm just creating this function, which takes a few seconds. OK, now we have our function. I'm going to replace the code in the handler here with some code that we have in the GitHub repo. I'm just copying this over replace this and paste this code. Now to show you what this does, this is a standard Lambda handler at the top. It calls this function called getUploadURL. We're going to use a random ID for the file name of the object. And then it takes the upload bucket from an environment variable, and it's expecting a JPEG file. We're going to set an ACL of public read, so these files will be publicly readable. And then further down, all we're doing is calling this get signed, pre, get signed URL function to get the pre-signed URL from the S3 service. Once it gets that, it returns the result. Now we need to just set up this environment variable upload bucket. So down here, I'll paste that in. And I'll put in the bucket name I created, which is jbezwer uploads. OK, so that's all good. I'll save this function now. Now the next step is to change the execution role. Right now, this execution role only has the permission to call this Lambda function. But when you're using pre-signed URLs, you also need to give it permission to be able to access S3 and put objects into the bucket. So I'll add an inline policy. I'll choose a service, S3. And for actions, there's three actions I'm going to provide. The first is under read, I'll allow it to get objects. And then for writing, it needs to be able to put an object. And then because we're changing the access control list, we need it to change the put object ACL, um, give it that permission as well. For resources, I'll specify this one bucket. We don't want to be too broad. So I'll add an on. I'll enter the bucket name again, jbezwer uploads. And we'll give it star on the object name so it can access any object in that bucket. There's the on. I'll just add that. And then we'll review the policy. And I'll give this a name, jbezwer uploads policy, and create this policy. And that's now attached to the IAM role for this function. So now what we can do is we can test this function. So I'll click on test. First, we have to configure a test event. We're not really using this, so I'll just call it test. And I'll click Test again, and that succeeded. And inside the response, 
you can see there is there a pre-signed URL starting just there all the way, and that contains the token needed to be able to do the upload. So next I'm going to add a trigger. We need to make this accessible by the outside world. So I use API Gateway and create a new API. I'm going to use one of the new HTTP APIs. This is going to be open. So I'm going to turn on cause just because we're testing. And I'll add this. This is accessible by anybody in the world. So now we have an API endpoint for our function. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. Now what I'll do is I'll use Postman just to make a request to show how this could work. So we'll call the same endpoint, send that request, and again you can see the upload URL has come back in the response. And we have a photo file name which is a random number generated by the function. So I've created a very small Vue.js application to show you how this works. It creates the, the UI that you see in the bottom right that enables us to upload this. It's just a JS fiddle I've built here. So I'll put in that API endpoint, paste that in to show you how this can be used inside your front-end application. I'll just run this with the new code. I'll choose a file from my desktop. I've got a picture of my laptop there. I'll upload that and then click Upload. So this is uploading directly to S3, not going through a Lambda function or anything else. And if I just refresh the contents of the bucket, there you can see this new image, and I'll make this public so you can see, there we go, that's a picture of my laptop. Using a serverless approach to uploading files from an application is very easy. You first create a bucket, then build a Lambda function that makes the request for a pre-signed URL from S3. The function itself is only about 30 lines of code. Remember that the IAM role used by the Lambda function must have permissions to write the object to the bucket. I then put API Gateway in front of my function in this case, so I could call an endpoint. This returns the pre-signed URL of S3 that contains a temporary access token, allowing the client application to upload directly to the S3 service. To download the examples from this video and deploy the application in your own account, visit this URL. The best part is that this can be used for existing server-based workloads as well as fully serverless applications. S3 is a web scale service that can handle hundreds of thousands of users uploading files simultaneously. This can give you an enterprise grade solution for your customer facing applications. Thanks for joining me for this quick walkthrough. Happy coding!